We have already learned about how to add, how to do addition using pictures. There is another way to understand addition, and it is to use a number line. I have an example of a number line on the board here behind me. A number line is a line of numbers where the numbers are increasing from left to right. You draw a line and mark numbers, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in an increasing order. All the numbers on the number line are at an equal distance from each other, an equal distance from each other. This is just one part of the number line, the numbers between 0 and 5. But we could continue to make our numbers all the way up as the numbers get bigger and bigger. Let's look at an example of adding numbers together using the number line. So our example says, Jimmy has four blue socks and one red sock. How many socks does he have all together? So we need to add together his blue socks and his red socks. So this problem basically asks us to add four plus one. Four plus one equals what number? Well, we can start using the number line to solve our problem by first of all finding 4 on the number line. So starting at 0, I would find 4 by counting 4 spaces over to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I found the 4. And I'm going to make a mark here on the number line for this 4 because this is where I'm going to begin my problem. Four add 1. So to add 1 to 4 using the number line, we simply move one space to the right. So we just move over from the 4 to the 5, and we land here on the number 5. The solution to our problem of 4 plus 1 is equal to the number 5. So Jimmy has five socks all together, and we used a number line to help us solve this problem. If you try to draw a picture or use a number line to perform every addition, it will take you a long time. You should be able to add very quickly, and the best way to learn to add the best way to learn addition is to practice a lot. With enough practice, you will be able to memorize adding the one-digit numbers together without even thinking about it. The sums for all of the addition problems using digits up to five are written here on the board. We call these the addition facts. These are the addition facts up to five. Let's take a look at some of these sums. These are numbers that you should be practicing a lot so that you have them memorized. This list here is our one plus list. So one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, one plus three equals four, and one plus four equals five, and our last one of one plus five equals six. This column here is our 2 plus column. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 2 plus 4 equals 6. And 2 plus 5 equals 7. You should practice these a lot. You could write a table like this on a piece of paper, and even just writing these numbers and writing these addition facts down will help you to memorize them. And then you can say them out loud like we are here, and that will also help you memorize. 3 plus 1 equals 4. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 3 plus 4 equals 7. And 3 plus 5 equals 8. And then we move over to our last two columns, 
of our bigger numbers, our fours and fives. So these need a lot of practice too. Four plus one equals five. Four plus two equals six. Four plus three equals seven. Four plus four is eight. And four plus four, or four plus five equals nine. Our last column that you want to practice working up to your fives is your five plus column. So five plus one is six. Five plus two equals seven. Five plus three equals eight. Five plus four equals nine. And five plus five equals 10. Practice these sums a lot and soon you will have them all memorized.